Well, hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, fast am I, and welcome to the afternoon of late autumn here at the basement farm. We have finished our lunch break, and very nice it was too. So, let's carry on with where on earth we had got to. Um, our, our friend has finished ploughing the field for us, so that is very nice. Oops, that's me running into the cedar. Uh, so, Oh, look, that's quite a nice screenshot, isn't it? See if I can somehow capture that for the uh, thumbnail. There you go. See what happens there. Ah, he has finished ploughing the field, so that's grand. I'm going to stick him straight on, sticking some grass in here now. So, he'll do that. Uh, we had taken on a contract to do some transporting, so we will go do that. And the transport company, I seem to think, is way down... South Windmill Hill. Should have done that one. Well, we'll do that one straight after, because we've only got to take it to the airport. Just down the road. Which I think is just up there. Yeah. This must be Windmill Hill. Yeah. Grand. Well, there we go. We have plans for the afternoon. So, without further ado... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Lower it. Turn it on. Get it going. It's already set to grass. Now, worker, you get on with doing your thing there. That says grass. That says nothing. Good. Ah, okay. So we will head back up to the farm with this. I've just remembered we didn't feed the chickens. Uh, we did sort our sheeps. Sheeps are happy. Chickens are hungry. So, we'll give the chickens a bit of feed. Wait. Yeah, uh, and then we'll get on with our transport stuff. There we go. Let's pop you in here. That'll do. Okay, I think we'll use our little uh, little dude for getting around. Oh, we should be in here. In fact, let's go and put this fork on a rack pretty much where it should be. Uh, hook. It should fit nicely in there. Don't fall over. See if we can get pushed over somehow. Just need to go quicker. Hank. Right, last try, and then we'll just go pick the bucket up and get on with the day. Hank. That'll do. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, while we're in here, we can drop a bale into. Oh, hang on. Hang on a gosh darn moment. Let's try something different. Our bucket holds... Because they only need a few hundred. That holds 2,000. That's going to hold less, though. Let's do that, then. Um, at the moment, we could have used the... Uh, little front tray, or whatever I call it, to feed the chickens. But uh, it doesn't hold very much, so... Magic. Let's go and fill these up. Now it holds 2,000. We don't want the foot. Ooh, hang on. What's going on here? <laughs> Ooh, we've got all sorts of lag going on. What am I doing? Who knows? Right. Okay. So this is our little fill point here. We do need to turn our silo on. Wheat, but we don't want much. Wow, that was quick. Okay, well, it's given us too much anyway. But for now, right, I'll turn you off again. Okay, well, let's go and give that to the chickens. Um, and I may be able to tip it straight back in. I 
I think there's a wheelbarrow in the shop. I wonder how much that holds. Let's have a look at their online catalogue in a second. Right, a couple of boxes of eggs going on as well. There we go. Right, here you go, Chucks. Fantastic. They didn't need a lot. But now they're full. They, they take a thousand, so that's worth remembering somehow. I think we must be a little bit front heavy, that's why it's getting a bit jittery. Right, so let's put our extra stuff back into the silos. I should probably think about closing this so it doesn't all get full of water. There you go, and you just tip back in there. Fantastic. Okay. And let's close that up because we're not going to need that for a while. Good. Close yourselves down, get rid of the bucket, stick it on a tractor, uh, stick it on the trailer, rather, and go and do some lifting. So I think we'll probably time-lapse our way down there, because that's what happens. Yep. We are going to need the fork back again, so let's grab that. Right, so I shall see you down at, where did we say, the transport company. Yes, we did. Cool. Right, catch you there in just a jiffy and hope that my stacking goes well and I haven't got to jump cut to uh, avoid the absolute hash I made of everything. Which, to be honest, not going to rule out. Don't need you. Okay, have fun. And here we are, ready to rock and roll. Uh, that was a bit of a scenic route we took, uh, just because I got very confused about uh, what on earth I was trying to do. Wrong turn, after wrong turn, after wrong turn. But anyway, what can you do? Alrighty-ho. So, let's get stacking and hope that, uh, that my stacking skills aren't so awful I have to do it off camera. Uh, I'm feeling fairly good about it today, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen. This is tricky because there's a lip just... Uh, that looks like a good one. Good. And there's six boxes. So, what we're not going to do is stack them in threes because, honestly... That is just asking for trouble. Right. Okay then. That looks pretty good. Yes! Right, let's hope the little dude can lift these okay. Oh, it seems to be a little bit heavy. As long as we go slow, sure, we'll be okay. Grand. Okay. I think I will probably time-lapse this, because if I'm going to have to go slow... Something is inevitably going to fall off at some point. Right, so... Let's give this a bit of time lapse stuff as well. What? Switch 
to outside for some of this, I think. Okay. Right. Okay, so we'll give this a time lapse and we'll see you at the spa for unloading, which should go yikes, slightly easier than the actual loading. Okay. It's going to fade out for a second while I save. So, um, yeah. That's all that's happening here. Always a good idea to save when you're stacking stuff. Particularly if you've ever seen my stacking, which is, well, different at the best of times. So, cool. Uh, catch you in a tick. Let's fade out before we do that. Otherwise, it's just rude. Okay, and we are back. Backing and stacking, but we're doing it badly. So, yeah, let's time lapse the rest and uh, see you at the spa. Well, isn't this a fine to-do? We were going along lovelily until that gentleman decided to drive right into our stuff. Uh, so, this is going to take a little bit of sorting out. Sorry, everybody. We'll get out of your way as quickly as we can. Oh, and I see. One of them trapped under there. It looks like we're going to have to jump off, which is probably not ideal for any of our... Don't you start. Ugh. Yes, yes, yes. Tooty tooty toot. Whatever. Ah, oh, now I've got you stuck, have I? <laughs> it's not going well. Good. Right, so you're out of the way there. My gosh, this has turned into a Dagoin video. Realism is key. Aliens stole my horses or something. Right, let's get you out of the way so the trailer at least can come down properly. Get everything back up as quick as we can. Uh, I don't think you'll need to watch whilst I uh, hassle all the... Oh, I can hear a siren in the background. It's not going well. Still, nobody appears to have been hurt, so that's okay. Right, let's jump cut up to the spa now and uh, see what's going on. Right, after a certain amount of messing, we've made it back. Um... Not ideally, but let's pretend we spoke to the guy and they were just full of books, so nothing mattered. Um, one of the pallets is back there anyway, uh, so I can just shuffle the others in. But that's ugly and not cool, so we won't do that on camera. I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, right, however, I did have a note that this guy decided to finish work because he'd run out of seed. So what we will do before we do anything... Let's go and fill this up with seed and a fertilizer. Get it back to work. Uh, hopefully, we can figure out where he was, um, and then and then go and unload those boxes. Um, yeah, bit of a bit of craziness and chaos going on today. But anyway, the life of a gentle rural Sussex farmer. Yes. So this, of course, is presuming that we have some seed. I'm pretty sure I have. Let's uh, 
think it was this one, was it? Open the cover. Oh, it wouldn't be there because that's all the solid stuff. Uh, let's fill up with seeds first. I hope that's going to be... Oh, yes. Yeah, that should be plenty. Uh, open next cover. We may as well fill it up with fertilizer whilst we're here. Which I think is this one. There we go. So that is our stocks uh, pretty much depleted. So... Um, there we go. No, so I've got 29 litres of seed left. Not a lot. Uh, no solid fertiliser, so that is going to be a nice little job for the winter. Go buy some more. Get our stocks back up. Probably review the video, see what we've bought for this year. See how much it's uh, covered. So what do we had? A field of wheat, I think. Hmm. Oh well, we shall just do a big stock up over winter get everything redone okay now how on earth are we going to establish where he got to guess I've got to guess by oh I see Uh, that seems to be pretty good. Lower it down, turn it on, get going. Get the worker back going again. Right, now where were we? We were going to do this off camera. I think all of this uh, craziness has probably given us most of our video today. As I have been recording for... Let me see. Ah, musical passwords. For quite a long time. So, I'll finish this off camera. I think I'll pick up the other transporting job and do it tomorrow game morning. Um, and then uh, we'll think of a plan for then. So, uh, thank you very much for watching amidst all of the crazy chaos today. And I will see you next time. Uh, likes and subscribes, obviously hugely appreciated. Let's just shuffle these back into the loading bay because nobody's really watching at this point. Like, and I will see you then. Yes, uh, thank you again, and bye-bye for now. Bye!